Okay, so last video I welded up a nine layer Damascus billet um, to make a client's project knife. I ended that video, well, half hour ago because it was starting to get hot out here in the shop, but I think I can get a little bit more forge welding done before um, it gets so gets too hot to manage it. Uh, just as an explanation, when it gets too hot out here, my power hammer overheats. Not only does it overheat, the last time I tried to do this, um, when it was this hot, my phone camera actually overheated as I was trying to take the video and I didn't get to do video that day. So we're gonna try it again. Hopefully this one will come out all right. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we took our nine layer billet from the previous video, cut it in half. I've got the two halves. Uh, actually, each of these halves where they're mated together was cleaned very well. You always have to make sure everything's clean when you're making Damascus. This is all tacked together now. Hopefully we'll get a good forge weld. That'll give us 18 layers. That's enough in my opinion. I like low layer Damascus. It gives a much more bold pattern. That's what we're gonna go with. We'll forge it out, twist it, and get it to the right shape to be ready to start forging the client's knife. That's the goal, hopefully it works out. Stick around. So we've already got it hot, got it flux, and there's our first welding pass. Bring it back up to welding heat again. And even now I can tell this is a good weld. Feels really solid, but We'll go ahead with one more pass of welding heat, and then we'll start forging this down into a square. Good dimensions to twist. But that's how we'll get the twist pattern in the uh, finished billet. So I'm just forging this down square. Ah, uh, probably one inch or so. Doesn't have to be perfect, just I want to make sure I stay pretty close to square though so I get a good even twist. And just about finished up. And the next heat, this is where I screwed up on my last video. In the last video I did this, or attempted to do this, is where I screwed up the last video of forge weld. I'm knocking the corners down and rounding this billet off. Making sure it's nice and round, no corners, because when you twist it, those corners will spiral and pull up close together and end up making a place for cold shuts and cracks. So here we go to the vise. And just give it a good old twist. And you can see the spiral pattern in the scale. That pattern's gonna carry on through the billet once um, the forging's done. I'll go back to the hammer and we'll work this out to a uniform size. Yep, it's gonna be great. No cracks, no cold shuts, no nothing. Forge welds turned out perfect. That'll do, I do believe. Oi, had to step outside for a minute. It is hot in there. But anyway, that billet forged up just right. Don't see any cold shuts, don't see any cracks. I'm 100% sure because I can feel the way it responds to the hammer that that's a good solid weld it's going to make a nice twist pattern now i'm going to let that billet cool down good um it is too hot to continue working on it today my hammer shut down just as i finished um so we'll work on forging the blade out next video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe leave us a comment in the comment section
Thanks and God bless.